Quite a while ago, I posted a video on how to get turn-by-turn -turn directions on a Garmin Edge 510. Although the procedure is about the same for the Edge 520, I wanted to post a specific video for this device. And I'll show this using Ride with GPS as opposed to Garmin's own software, which is called Garmin Connect. Both of these are web-based. Both have an app on their phone and both are useful but I find that you get more information on your screen using Ride with GPS. So let me show you how this is done. The website that you want to go to is www.ridewithgps.com. If you don't have an account you'll want to create one. It is free to create an account and there is like I said a phone app that works very well in conjunction with the website. There is a paid version of the phone app, but the free version is very useful. If you wanted full functionality, you could get the paid version, but try the free version first because I think you're going to find that extremely useful. You want to click on the plan tab to start your route. If you have something already on the screen, click up on the clear map button on the top left and then click OK and now you can start planning a new route. So like with most mapping software, you would just click along the road, it will follow the road. If you got to a place where you knew there was a trail that is not being followed by the red line, you could click over here on the right and click on draw lines, and that way you can cut through a section and have it get off the road. If you mess up, while you're doing this, there's an undo button on the bottom right. As you're going about your route, you can see elevation on the bottom, so that can be fairly useful. Once you're finished, you want to click on the save button on the left, and then save your route. Also, when you're saving your route, you can mark it as what type of ride it is. Uh, you can define what type of pavement. Is it mixed? Is it mostly unpaved or paved or whatever? And then most importantly, you can mark it as public or private. So if you want other people to be able to find this route, you can leave it as public. Once you're finished, click Save, and that will save your route. To view your routes, click on the Routes tab at the top. And this is where all your routes will be saved, and they will stay here unless you delete them. So click on your route, and over here on the right, you're going to see View, Edit, and Delete. Click on View. To export it to the computer, what you're going to do is over here on the right, on the top, you will see Overview, Metrics, and Export. Click on Export. And the key here is TCX Course. So click on TCX. But you'll see the title where it says uh, Lunch Gravel Ride. And now we're going to go to Explore, and we're going to move this to our Garmin. So now we'll want to hook up the Garmin to the computer using the same port in the back that you use for charging. If your Garmin was not on when you hook it up to the computer, it will come on. Once it's connected to the computer and can be read by the computer, you'll see this little sign on the Garmin. In Windows Explorer, you should see the Garmin as a device over here. I'm going to expand this out. And you want to look for this folder called New Files. This is where we're going to drag the course that we just created. So now go back to your Downloads folder or wherever you have that file go to. And remember I said that you need to name the file something useful. So here you'll see the name that I created which was Lunch Gravel Ride. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over to the new files and if you want to just move it hold down shift and that will move the file to your new files it is now on your Garmin now it's time to disconnect the Garmin from the computer if you're using Windows I would recommend right clicking on that drive and going to eject and now it's safe to unplug the Garmin so I'm gonna just unplug the Garmin from the computer to find the course on your Garmin, you on the main screen would click on the down arrow and then go to training. Click on the top right button to select it. Select courses. And then you should see that title 
of the route that you created. So here's my lunch gravel ride. Click on the top right. And that will load up the course in the Garmin and when you're ready to go. Go to ride. Navigate to the beginning of the course if you want to do that. I typically don't, but you can do that if you want to. I typically know where my courses start. I select no and I'm ready to navigate and you will get turn-by-turn -turn directions as you go along your route. And what you should see when you're following your route is arrows on the top left if you're on the map screen and as you get closer that will change. And if you're not on the map screen you will get a little pop-up at the bottom. So you'll get a little card like this that shows and it'll tell you when the turn's coming up. And I found that you actually have to be a little bit closer to your turn for the card on the bottom to pop up. When you're on the map screen, you'll get directions a little bit further out. And this is a cue card that you can get. When you put the TCX file on your Garmin, you can scroll to this screen and see where your turns are coming up in the future. Since I mentioned the app, let me just show it real quick on the phone. So this is on an Android device. It should work just as well on an iOS device. So I'm going to click on Routes. And here you can see your route. If you click on the route, you will see the whole thing. And what's really nice is if you click on the top right, you can go to Show My Location. And then you'll see a blue dot of where you're at. So even if you don't have the paid version, the paid version will give you turn-by-turn -turn directions. So if you click up here, you'll see Feature Not Available. I don't, I don't have the paid version yet. Uh, but if you didn't have that, you can st still see where you're at along the route. So if you come to an intersection, you're not quite sure where to go, you can bring up the app on your phone. And of course, if you're following a Garmin, then you really won't need to do that. But uh, you can still... If you're out on a route and you forgot to load it into your Garmin and you're riding, you can find where you're at along the route. So that's how you would get turn-by-turn -turn directions on your Garmin Edge 520. If you have any questions or comments about the video, leave them below. And if it was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up for me. Thanks for watching.